Hi, my name is Taylor Thurman. Um, this is for Foundations of Nursing Practice um, for the SBAR activity. So for this activity, I chose the scenario involving a um, three-week-old infant in the NICU named Baby Z. Um, he's located in Nursery 2. He was born at 27 weeks gestation when delivered. He has been progressing well after a short period of CPAP and remains in 24% flow support. He is receiving continuous tube feedings. He has demonstrated a steady weight increase for the first time today. He has had a couple of episodes of apnea. When Sue, the evening nurse, came on and did her assessment, she noticed he was tachypenic with a respiratory rate of 75. As she was documenting her assessment, baby Z had a bradycardia episode and his oxygen, oxygen saturation Dec decreased to 75. His heart rate returned to 130 with stimulation and Sue increased the oxygen to 28%. He also had some regurgitation of formula. His muscle tone is diminished and his coloring is molted. Um, she listened to his breast sounds and noted that they were equal and clear. His abdomen is soft and not distended. The day nurse reported that he had slept a lot today and his mother felt he wasn't as alert as usual. Um, with this scenario, we had to create a SBAR, um, report, which, um, shows how to evaluate the situation, get background information, do an assessment, what needs to be done, and then what recommendations that you may have for the physician. So for this assignment, um... The pertinent data within the scenario involves the baby being a three-week-old infant, was born at 27 gestation weeks gestation. Um, the baby being born at 27 weeks gestation um, can increase um, problematic situations, especially with breathing as their lungs may not have been developed appropriately and enough to uh, sustain their breathing outside of the womb. So they would need um, oxygen support, CPAP. Um, and then also some important information regarding this would be that he's had some episodes of apnea, so not um, having difficulty breathing, stop breathing. Um, his respiratory rate was at 75 and then when he had a bradycardia episode, his oxygen decreased as well. Um, this shows that the baby isn't, when his heart's pumping fast, his lungs aren't um, sustainable and keeping up the rhythm of breathing. Um, also that he's had some regurgitation of the formula is pertinent. Um, his muscle tone is diminished and the coloring of his skin is molted, which... Um, means that there's oxygen deficiency um him being him sleeping a lot is important as um this shows that he um may not be sleeping as well as he should and then his mom his mother felt he wasn't as alert um this could also be because he's having difficulty breathing not being awake a lot um and then also for this assignment it says to um, create a mini simulation, um, which I'll do now. Hi, my name's Taylor. I'm the registered nurse um, in Nursery 2 in the NICU. I have baby Z, um, who's a three-week-old infant, as a patient today. Um, he's was born at 27 weeks gestation. He has been pr progressing well. Um, he has been on a CPAP machine and he has remained at 24% oxygen or flow support. He has been receiving continuous tube feedings, has shown steady weight gain. Um, today upon assessment, the evening nurse reported that he um, has tachypneic with a respiration of 75. Um, during documenting, she noticed he um, was having a bradycardia episode and his oxygen sat 
decreased to 75. Um, upon a stimu stimulation, his heart rate returned to 130. And then for this, the night nurse also increased ox room oxygen to 28%. Um, he's had some regurgitation with some feeding. When given formula, his muscle tone has diminished and his coloring has molted. Um, listening to his breath sounds, they were equal and clear. Ab abdomen was soft and not distended. Um, the day nurse reported he slept a lot. Mother stated he wasn't as alert. Um, my recommendation would be ordering some blood work, CBC and CMP to ensure there's no infections. And then also keeping baby Z on a CPAP machine to help with the breathing. Debriefing the class. Um, some of my thoughts on the clinic scenario, clinical scenario was it doesn't give you a lot of information, especially if um, he's had any other um, problems like with his heart, if there was any um, complications with the pregnancy resulting in him being born at 27 weeks, um, if he had to have any surgeries coming out of um, the womb, if he was delivered vaginally or by C-section. There's not a lot of information also regarding what else has been done besides the CPAP machine and room oxygen being 24%. Um, and this also goes with what could have been added to the SBAR report, um, having more of a background information, just not that he was born at 37 weeks and what has been done per the scenario. Um, I think some more information could have been added on um, how his vital signs have been, how he, for the past couple days, not just that day. Um, I think within this SBAR report, we didn't need um, this breathing that they were clear um, and then also that his muscle tone has diminished. Being tw 37 weeks or 27 weeks gestation, um, so he's 30 weeks technically um, as he's a three week old infant since birth, um, his muscle tone isn't going to be the greatest. Um, it's going to diminish. It's going to, especially if he's not being able to eat a lot. Um, so if he's regurgitating the formula, um, that means he's not getting what he should, um, besides what the continuous tube feeding is. And then, um, if this conversation was done again, um, what could be done differently is that, um, there's more information to give the the physician to determine what else needs to exactly be ordered. We're given very little information. We have to take what we're given and produce outcome. Um, the next question is, do you think the significance of the situation was clearly presented to the physician? Um, I think speaking more clearly is important, especially when it comes to um, monologue and giving a report over the phone, it can sometimes come misconstrued. 